welcome to Tips and Tricks. Jim's Block is an Apple consultant and we're here to help you with your Apple devices. Today we're going to turn on the root user on the Mac and this will allow you to have access to a number of different functions in the command line. So for example, if we go into terminal here and we want to do something like create a new folder in the root of the hard drive. Let's say we have the hard drive here. And we're going to have other series on command line functions. But uh, just quickly, we want to change direction to the root of a folder. We type in cd slash. That brings us in the command line to this same directory here on the root of a hard drive. And if I look at the contents, I can see things like the applications, applications, library, library, system, system, users, and so on. And a bunch of invisible things that you see in the command line that you don't see in the graphic user interface or GUI. So let's say, for example, we want to make a new folder there or make a directory. On the Mac, the command for that is mkdir, and we're just going to call it test. Right now, permission is denied. We're not allowed to do that. Now, there's a way to quickly do that with the sudo command, sudo mkdir test, and we put in the password of an administrator account, and voila, you see the test folder is created. Now, let's say you have a number of other things that you want to uh, do all at once and you don't want to keep entering the sudo command every time you uh, every time you issue a new command in here one thing that's good is to have a root account that's available so you can turn the root account on through the system preferences so go into system preferences choose users and groups Unlock it with your administrator password and click on login options. From here, you're going to click on join in the network account server. And here, we're going to open directory utility. So this is a number of steps just really to open a program called directory utility. That program's located in a folder inside the uh, system on the hard drive. And we'll have other series where we explore all of the different programs in there. So from here, we want to unlock this again, again with your administrator password. And from here, you've got the menu choices up in the Director Utility Program. You can go to the Edit menu and choose Enable Root User. And from here, you pick a password. And this password is going to be for a new secret account called root. All right, I've picked my password. I can quit directory utility and I can quit system preferences. And now we're ready to try this again. Let's see if we can create a folder where we couldn't before on the Macintosh hard drive. So here, if you want to log into a new account, you just type in login and then root. Enter the password that we've just chosen. And you see now it tells us that we're in here as root. So now we can change the directory to go back to this hard drive here again. CD slash. We'll go list see that we're in the right place. And now let's try to create a directory. So we'll note if we've just typed in the command without the sudo, we're going to tr create a directory or a folder right here called test. We hit enter, see if it works. There we go. Now you can issue multiple commands in here without constantly having to type in the sudo command. 
Again, remember, you're in here as root, so you've got access to the whole system. You can do anything. So be very careful with the commands that you put in here. Make sure you research them, test them, and make sure you have a backup of your system. If you have any questions, put them in the comments down below. If you have any other problems or suggestions of things that you'd like us to help you with on your Apple devices, put them in the comments below. And if you want some custom help or remote help, feel free to get in touch with us from our website, which is in the description. Thank you very much for watching, and please like, subscribe, and share.